गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू हैव रेड लेसन वन टू मच सन सो चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ क्विक रिकैप ऑफ दिस लेसन एंड वंस अगेन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट हैपन इन दिस स्टोरी सो चिल्ड्रन द मेन टू कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द स्टोरी वर अभय एंड सहर Now let's see what happened in the beginning of the story. We all know that it was a hot sunny day. And this boy and girl that is Abhay and Seher are inside the house. Why they were inside the house? Because it was too hot to play outside. So they were lying on the sofa and watching TV. and even the flowers in their garden were wilting in the hot sun now after this we have three fairies in this story so first we have a sunshine fairy whose name was sunny she lives in seher and abhay's garden and she likes the sun for her the hotter it is the better So Sunny has two more friends that is Windy and Raindrop. Now children let's find out what happened in the middle of the story. Or we can say what did these fairies do? Now Sunny says to her fairy friends come and play in the sky. So all the three fairies Sunny, Windy and Raindrop fly up into the sky. and they start playing hide and seek so first of all sunny hides in the clouds then windy blows the clouds away and when rain drops waves her wand at a cloud it begins to rain she hides in the shower of rain until windy blows the cloud away with a laugh now coming to the end of the story so children As the rain comes down the flowers in Seher and Abhay's garden lift up their petals gratefully and we know very well that in the beginning of the story the flowers in the garden were wilting in the hot sun now it is not too hot anymore it is a lovely day and everything is sparkling as you can see in the picture Now Abhay and Seher were not feeling too hot anymore and they were also ready to go out so Abhay shouts and says to Seher let's go and play in the garden Now children let's quickly discuss the book exercise given on page number 12 So first a part is tick the correct answer The sentence is Abhay and Seher are inside the house because a they like playing indoor games they are studying or it is too hot to play outside so we all know the correct answer that is it is too hot to play outside c part you will tick second sentence in the hot sunny weather the flowers are blooming looking up at the sky or bending down towards the ground so children the answer is because the flowers are bending towards the ground which also means wilting now the third sentence the flowers in the garden lift their petals up because abhay and seher water them the rain refreshes them or the clouds in the sky make them happy Yes the answer is the rain refreshes them now what do you mean by refreshes it means to make somebody or something feel less tired or less hot and full of energy again now the fourth sentence everything is sparkling due to the heat rain or wind everything was sparkling due to the rain so you will take b part Now B part is children you have to write T for true and F for false sentences. So the first sentence is during the summer days it becomes difficult to play outdoors. So the answer is 
ट्रू येस इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू प्ले आउटडोर्स ड्यूरिंग द सनी डेज सेकेंड सेंटेंस द फ्लावर्स इन द गार्डन ब्लूम ऑन अ सनी डे सो चिल्ड्रेन वॉट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस सेंटेंस इट इज फॉल्स सो चिल्ड्रेन द फ्लावर्स इन द गार्डन डज इन ब्लूम ऑन अ सनी डे बिकॉज वेन इट इज अ हॉट सनी डे इट विल्ट नाउ कमिंग टू द थर्ड सेंटेंस ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टीन सनी एंड रेन रॉब डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू प्ले टूगेदर so is it true that they do not want to play together no it is not true it is false they wanted to play together they were playing together now the last sentence sunny and windy push rain drop so the sentence is also not true they were not pushing each other they were just playing